welcome to our technical channel ganesh piping this is a new episode on the piping materials engineering before we start this video i would like to insist you to subscribe to our channel because it is very important for us that you subscribe to our channel and share our videos now this topic piping materials engineering Uh, has never been discussed in all of our previous videos if you can browse through our video list you will not find this topic that is why this topic has become a very special category and we have chosen this topic because the piping materials engineering is the most important domain which is have which requires a core and fundamental knowledge of materials uh, then uh, thermal engineering strength of material and all the major uh, subjects that are associated with the mechanical and chemical engineering discipline so now we will see what is the role of this uh, piping material engineer uh, as we we know that this piping is associated with the process plant industry so in a process plant we know that there is a definite process like for example in case of a sugar factory we have the sugar cane which is crushed in the sugar mills and from there we have the sugar cane juice and the waste residue of the sugar cane so now it is processed and finally we get the sugar so in between there in between this process there are different equipments and these equipments are connected with by means of piping so now this piping itself is a kind of a big network and this piping we see if we see the fundamental level of uh, this piping then it comes to be the pipes which we can see here then the fittings which uh, which we can uh, discuss as piping uh, elbows keys reducers etc etc then some uh, self reinforced fitting like oleds then we have uh, flanges to connect the pipe in a uh, considering a temporary joint temporary joint permanent joint and semi permanent joint we have discussed this and you can Uh, browse through our earlier videos it is a very important video as far as the pipe joining methods are concerned so these fl flanges so all these uh, different types of uh, components uh, forms the broader scope of the piping materials engineering so i will describe it as creating the project piping class so this project piping class will include all these materials which are applicable for that given project and the piping specification necessary to fabricate test insulate the piping system so this is the very uh, broader definition of that uh, piping material specification classes so now we will see how it works so now this is the role of a piping materials engineering piping materials engineer uh we can see here there are two different classifications one is preparation of the engineering specifications and the another one is the specifications for the procurement activities so engineering specifications we can we can list out to prepare the piping material specification so piping material specification we have discussed in earlier slide basically it is a uh i will try to explain in a very simple way like for example uh, if there is a carbon steel stainless steel and low temperature carbon steel ltcs so this can be three specs but it is not the it is not the material only material which forms the basis for different type of uh, for making different types of specs piping specification i will call it short form as spec Uh, but also other factors like for example within 
the carbon steel there can be a piping system which is subjected to higher pressures and temperature so for that there will be say 2500 pound rating or 1500 pound rating or whatever so within carbon steel there will be 150 pound rating carbon steel specification then second one 300 pound rating 600 pound rating and so on so within the material class itself like carbon steel there are different types of specification then even in case of say uh, 1500 pound rating carbon steel there can be a ness required uh, specification and non ness ness means national association for corrosion engineer that means that piping is specifically designated for the services which are uh, subjected to very high corrosive environment so this is a specification uh, which uh, is applicable for a given class or a given uh, piping material class then to prepare the wall data sheet that is the specification for the walls in that given project then special item data sheet special item comes to be the hoses then uh, quick couplings then uh, the flame arrester and so on so all these specifications and even your strainer and filters for the pumps so all this uh, specification are being prepared by the piping materials engineer then design calculation like pt rating pipe wall thickness calculation so this uh, pipe wall thickness calculation and pt rating calculation are the fundamentally uh, most important calculation as far as the piping material specification uh, production of uh, creation of that is concerned because it is the prime most activity the first activity which is taken is the calculation of pipe wall thickness from what are the inputs the pressure temperature and material of construction of that pipe so i am uh, focusing on very sm- uh, very very key uh, points of this uh, discussion on engineering specification now coming to the procurement part uh, we can see here preparation of piping material requisition so what is this like for example the piping material specification is ready now from the piping material specification i have to order piping say pipe for erw electric resistance welding from uh, say 6 inch to 20 inch okay uh, with some given schedule and all so i have to prepare for that size range i have uh, mentioned i have to prepare as a piping material engineer the entire specification that is required for procurement of this given pipe okay so when this specification uh, is called as a then this specification is called as a material piping material requisition so now this is floated to the vendors so based on the specification given in the vendor the vendor will provide their quotation with the uh, cost of that uh, given uh, uh, component maybe it may be a pipe or fitting or whatever is that and the third part is the technical bid evaluation so here we can see so the vendor document and review is the means the the vendor will send their offer with the drawings and all and uh, then there will be a comparative study of different uh, offers from different vendor and they will make a technical bid evaluation and this technical bid evaluation will help to identify the uh, vendor who will be selected or who will be awarded this uh, so this is the role of uh, piping engineer now uh, this is the piping material specification which is a very very key document and it is the level 1 document uh, which is prepared by the materials engineer so to prepare piping material specification what is required we need the following information that is the pipe nominal size say 6 inch or 8 inch so this sizing of pipe is being done by the process based on means process discipline based on the velocity of the flow and uh, delivery volume required in a meter cube per minute or second or whatever so based on that uh, we derive this the the process engineer 
will derive to the sizes of the pipe now second is the wall thickness or schedule so this wall thickness is calculated from the pressure and temperature that is pre design pressure and design temperature then design limitations and pressure temperature that we have discussed okay then end type and connection like for example in the piping material specification we have to specify the end types also like for example if there is a reducer then the end type of reducer can be butt welded it can be socket welded it can be screwed uh, not only for reducer but only but also for pipes also if it is socket welded then it will be plain end if it is butt welded then we have to give the bevel ends so all these specifications are mentioned in the piping material specification sheet for that given class then the branch connection table like for a given piping class uh, there can be header combinations from half inch to 24 inch and the corresponding branch which is connected to that so what will be the combination like for example for a given spec 150 pound rating and the carbon steel which is having name a1 a and all those things and how that name is being codified that we will see in uh, later slides okay so now the branch uh, branch connection table like i will say 24 inch by 16 inch what will be the component that will be used so that is mentioned in the branch table for that given material specification and there is a rule for that uh, we will make a separate uh, talk on this and uh, we will demonstrate how you can make the branch table then uh, then there is a piping item list okay. piping item list means uh, uh, this uh, flange and your pipe and all those uh, other fittings and all okay. then codes and standard applicable codes and standard so for dimension standards for pipe there are two types of standards which are used one is the material code that is it will specify the material and the manufacturing process okay like for example for seamless pipe it is a106 that is carbon steel seamless so carbon steel is the material and seamless is the manufacturing process that is used for production of the pipe then a53 grade b that is welded pipe and uh, it is a carbon steel then uh, this then there comes the dimension standard so dimension standard will give the physical dimension size wise physical dimension of the component okay like for example uh, if i want 8 inch elmo with some xyz schedule then we have asme b 16.9 which is the dimension standard for butt welded fittings so these codes and standards are also specified uh, very meticulously in this uh, piping material specification then the environmental conditions environmental conditions like uh, the temperature ambient temperature uh, and so many other things are there then the corrosion rate we have seen uh, in our uh, earlier slide that uh, it is a nes compliant means some extra corrosion allowance is considered so that corrosion rate will specify that it should be 3 mm extra or 6 mm extra or 1 uh, 4.5 mm extra all that is specified and that is the corrosion rate now this is the piping material specification we can see here ca is the corrosion allowance so you can see this number a1 an so now this uh, how the formation of this number takes place there is a coding associated with that so that coding we are going to understand so first is the a a is what rating that is if it is the pipe uh, class rating is 150 pound rating 300 pound rating then it is b c is 400 d is 600 e is 900 f is 1500 g is 2500 then one is the corrosion allowance that we have discussed which is starting from zero like for example for stainless steel uh, there is no corrosion allowance required because 
there is a protective coat of chromium oxide on the layer of stainless steel as soon as this coat is uh, and because, because of that coat it is corrosion resistant as soon as this uh, coat is uh, as soon as this coat is removed it is if it is discarded by some machining or what then uh, it will uh, stainless steel will corrode like anything it will get evaporated i would say so that is why there is a zero corrosion allowance for stainless steel then one one two three four means 1.5 2 mm 3 mm 4.5 etc etc and the third one is the type of material which is used for that pipe a is carbon steel b is ltcs c is 114 chromium and so on till the j is there then n is the special requirement which is ibr indian boiler regulation nes which i have discussed earlier h is the hydrogen service uh, for hydrogen service uh, white is a uh, special requirement because hydrogen is the lighter lighter gas lightest gas and uh, atomic number we know it is 1 and it is very light so because of that the, uh, the piping requires special attention as there sh it should be highly leak proof so this is all about the piping material specification okay so this to give you an idea for uh, piping material specification as how it looks uh, i have shared with you this slide which is which talks about a piping material specification for carbon steel and that is 150 pound rating so now here we can see for 2 to 6 inch range a106 grade b this is the material code and uh, this is seamless type and this is b bevel ends so we have discussed about the ends this is the schedule which is the thickness schedule 40 asmeb 36.10 so this is the dimension standard and this is the material code so this is the dimension standard code i will say and this is the material code okay so accordingly for fittings a234 grade wpb seamless uh, as pipe it is written that means we have to match the thickness of this elbow or t or whatever is that with the pipe that is schedule 40 as pipe so whatever will be the pipe thickness we have to match it with that then swage nipples and so on all is so now this was all about the piping materials engineering so update us how you like this session and keep posted us about the your comments which we read frequently and don't forget to watch our another episode which will be still exciting than this one you can support us for our work and we have shared our phone pay number in the description below uh, thanks for watching this video happy learning and have a fantastic day ahead